Hey everybody, welcome back to My Slice of Heaven. I'm Joey. Today I got a new camera we're going to talk about. This is the Wasoda G300 Pro. But, uh, I just recently got this camera. Figured I'd do a review on it. Today we're going to do an unboxing. We're going to do a setup. And then we're going to put it out in the woods and get some pictures. And I'll show you the video quality of this camera. And when all that's setting done, I'll come back and let you know what I personally think of the camera. Uh, but again, this is the Wasoda G300 Pro. Let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing and then we'll go through the setup. And as soon as we open it up, of course we got the camera. And it's a good looking camera. I like the, the looks of this camera. Very nice. Got the big latch on the side, bottom door, nice big LCD screen there. All your buttons for turning it on and off. Of course, it has your uh, spot for your tree scrap, tree scap, <laughs> tree strap, and a place for a locking cable. Also has these little things here to hold it out again, away from the tree to help hold it straight and even. But uh, it also has your uh, quarter by 20 threaded slide at the bottom so you can use a uh, tree mount for it and if you're looking for a tree mount to use the box comes with one I believe yes it does but you guys know how I feel about these make your own it'd be a lot sturdier than this here they are getting better they're just not quite there yet but uh, if you want to make your own trail camera mount. I'll leave a link up here in the corner. You can go check that out. It also came with the tree strap. Some mounting hardware in case you wanted to put it in the wall. And that is it. And of course the directions. And we're going to go ahead and pause here for a second. And I'll get the batteries in this camera and we'll go ahead and go through the setup. All right, guys, like I said, we got this big latch, which I like. It's really nice. Like I said, it's a good looking camera. We got the on, off, and the setup button here. We got the eject for the batteries, which go below. You just push this button. That comes out. You just pull that out. It is a little tight, which is a good thing, I think. Push it back in there until it clicks. You got your up and down arrows, your sideways arrows, you got an OK button, and an M. Not sure what the M stands for. I'd have to look that up. But we're going to go ahead and move this button to the middle. And that gives us our setup screen. And then we're going to hit the OK button, I guess. Oh, you know what? The M is probably for menu, and I did not put an SD card in here yet, so let me come right back to you. So we got the SD card. It goes right in here in the side, and it takes the full-size SD cards, what I like. Again, we have the big latch on the front door, and these are good. So when it's mounted against the tree, like this, the door opens, and you can still see what you're aiming at through the screen. Okay, we'll turn this to the middle. We're going to focus in on that LCD screen. So you can follow along with me here. We're going to hit the M is for menu. We're going to go ahead and set the clock and date. We're going to try OK. And you're going to set this to your time, whatever your time is. So I've set the clock. And it's just as simple as going into the clock settings. Move your buttons up, down, or over. And you can set the time and the date. So now we're going to go ahead and put OK. We're going to go down to... Whoops, I'm sorry. Hit the OK button again. We're going to go down to Photo Video. You know me. I put everything on video. We're going to have this one on video. If you want to change it, you can either go to Photo or you can go to Photo Video. So we're going to hit OK. Video Length. One thing I noticed with this camera already, it has a 5, 10, 20, 30. To me, the perfect video recording time is 15 seconds. 
I feel 20 seconds is too much, takes up too much of the data card. 10 seconds, it seems like you're always wanting just a little extra more to see what, what's on the video. But 10 seconds is going to work for us, and that's what we're going to try it on. We're going to hit OK. We're going to hit Menu, I think. We're going to go back to Menu. We're going to go down to Interval. Hit OK. Interval is the time from it takes one video or picture to the time it takes the next video or picture. I'm going to put it on 30 seconds for this review. I usually put them at about 30 seconds to one minute. Sometimes I put them at two minutes. But for this video, we're going to go 30 seconds and we're going to see what we can capture with that. So we're going to hit OK. Down to sensor level. Hit OK. We have two settings. We have low and high. And that just means that when something walks in front of this, um, the sensor level, it can be further away and still detect it and trigger more more subtle movements whereas if you had them low it probably wouldn't detect like grass blowing in the wind at a certain distance away so we're going to leave ours on high for now hit ok go down to flash modes and it has three settings power saver long range and fast motion i don't think i've ever seen a camera that had fast motion before i'd like to try it but for right now, for this review, I'm just going to put it on power saving mode. Long range just means that it would shoot the flash out at a longer distance. Fast motion. I don't know too much about fast motion, but I can read that out of the book. Set the distance of infrared induction. There are three options can be se selected. Power save mode is a medium output. Long range is high LED output at a low shutter speed. Fast motion is high LED output at a fast shutter speed. And you can read that in your manual when you get it. And it's right there at the bottom, flash modes. And let's move on to the next. And we're going to put ours on power saving for a medium range right now. Hit OK. Go down. Set active timer. Set active timer is when you want your camera to work like between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Or 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. We're not going to put an active timer on this camera. I never use those. But it would be good for like a security setup where you're there during the day but not there during the night. Something like that. Set time lapse. This is how you would set your time lapse. You hit OK. It will have on or off. We're just going to leave it at off. I've never used time lapse, and I think I should give that a try sometime. Format. Now, I have always been a big component of, or proponent, whatever the word is, <laughs> of taking the card out and formatting it in your computer. But lately, I was watching another channel, and they say that they actually format their card in their computer, and then format it when they put a new or empty card into their camera. For the point being that every camera is different and has different paths on what it stores your videos or your pictures. I've never had any problems just formatting it on the computer. Down to default. That's just if you want to set all, return all your settings to the default settings. Language. You can choose from several different languages to put your camera in. Camera name. You can name it. I named this one G300 Pro. side PIR which is these two buttons here these two sensors here and you could turn those on or off I have mine on hit OK down button again this is your Wi-Fi SSID number whoops I hit the wrong button sorry about that I'm gonna hit menu to go back Wi-Fi password and a software update this camera is Wi-Fi capable. That does not mean it's cellular capable. It'll only work within a certain distance from your cell phone. This gives you your version information and then we're right back at the top. So this camera is completely set up. So next we'll be setting it out in the field. 
we'll go ahead and bring you along we set it up we'll set it up on a tree somewhere and uh leave it there to soak in the woods for a few weeks and then we'll come back and check it and see what the videos look like all right guys so that's the setup of the wasoda g300 pro our next step will be to put this out on a tree somewhere and we'll leave it out in the woods or in the field for probably two to three weeks or so or a month and we'll come back and check it and then when i do check it i will come back here and share the video with you all right guys we're back with the wasoda g300 pro this camera has been sitting out in the woods for over a month now I would have taken you along when I set it out in the woods and when I picked it up, but both days it just happened to be raining, so I did not get my cameras out and do any videos of that. But the first impression that I've had of this camera so far, it's a nice camera and takes excellent video. And a surprise that I didn't know this camera had is sound capture, and you will hear some of that in these video clips, and I'm going to go ahead and roll them now. Well guys, as you saw, the uh, video was actually really nice. The sound capture on this camera was pretty good. The night flash, you saw it was a nice wide even flash. It wasn't like the little circle on the ground like a lot of cameras are and used to be. Cameras are really improving a lot. This camera also is Wi-Fi capable and I did not mention that earlier. But that does not mean it's cellular. It will not send pictures from the camera to your phone through your data plan this will only send pictures to your phone if you're in proximity of the camera through your wi-fi and bluetooth and i think you have to be like 50 feet from the camera for it to actually work so that's a good uh feature in like a security setting if you want to use it to watch outside of your house at night or something like that that's a great feature Overall, it's a pretty good camera. I will leave a link to this camera in the description below if you're interested in this camera. That's going to be it for this video again. That is the Wasoda G300 Pro. I don't know what else to say about this camera. It's a really nice camera. You will need to make up your own mind if it's the right camera for you. Well, that's going to be it for this review. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Maybe you didn't like the video, but you just like me. Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And until next time, y'all have a great day.